For more on political news, News 4's senior national correspondent Peter Zampa joins us live now from Washington. So, Peter, in New Hampshire, President Biden is once again talking about prescription drug prices. What is the latest from the administration on that front? Well, Kinsley, as we just heard there, this is a legacy moment for this president. We've heard him say, talk about prescription drug prices time and time again throughout his presidency. And so with just a couple of months left, left, this is something you should expect from this president to talk about his perceived achievements and none greater than this prescription drugs prices issue that has affected millions of people. This report coming out from his own government saying that 1.5 million people benefited from this to the tune of a billion dollars because of this price crap, cap at $3,500 uh, on, on out-of-pocket costs for people enrolled in Medicare Part D. And, and next year, that out-of-pocket cost is going to come down to $2,000. And they said that if that was in place this year, it would have benefited 4.6 million Americans in just the first half of 2024. So clearly a big deal for this president. And he, I, you know, you just said he's campaigning for Kamala Harris too, stopping by a, a campaign office. This is something he hopes rubs off on her campaign as well with her by his side as all of these things happened. Two weeks until Election Day, with millions of Americans already voting in a number of states, the presidential candidates are still making last-minute appeals to voters. So, Peter, what is on the agenda for the Harris and Trump campaigns today? Well, Kinsley, at least for part of the day, there appeared to be a focus on Latino voters for both campaigns. You had Donald Trump hosting a, a Latino uh, leadership roundtable in the Miami area earlier today, trying to shore up support with Latinos, uh, with whom the, the Republican Party has really made inroads over the last few cycles. You know, historically, this is a group, it's not a monolithic block, we should be clear, but it is a group that has voted more for Democratic candidates. So uh, Republicans trying to chip away at that voting block. And then you have Vice President Kamala Harris continuing her media blitz today, sitting down not just with NBC, but also Telemundo, again, trying to shore up support with those Latino voters. Then she went off to Detroit. Donald Trump went up to North Carolina. You've got J.D. Vance in Arizona, another crucial battleground state we can't say enough about. And then you've also got Governor Tim Walls and former President Barack Obama, both in Wisconsin today, the first day of early voting in that crucial blue wall state the Democrats really need if they want to win this campaign. So both campaigns making these strategic moves to be in states that they so desperately need to win if they want the White House in January. Peter Zampa, that's our time, but thanks for joining us on News 4 at 5.